Today, I wanted to take a look at this Ocarina toy from ThinkGeek. This is a product that got licensed by Nintendo, but was crafted by the ThinkGeek team. It retails for $29.99. Here's my overview and review. This is a very plastic ocarina. It feels very much like the toy it is. The colors and decoration are all really decent and relatively accurate to the in-game item that it is based off of. The back features a speaker, a bunch of screw holes, a battery cover, and the mode switch. It does also come with a nice little stand, a manual that I promptly lost, and the three AAA batteries required to run it. Now those modes that I mentioned, uh, there are three modes. There's free mode, classic mode, and demo mode. Demo mode seems to be the exact same as the classic mode. I'm not sure if there's any difference. Free mode lets you just play the ocarina. It uses the actual MIDI sounds from in the game, which is cute. Uh, in addition to the main five notes, you can use the R and Z buttons to modify the pitch up or down respectfully. As a free form musical instrument, this is useless. It's a good laugh to try to replicate some tunes, but overall not really going to entertain or, or impress much at all. Classic mode, however, will detect if you play songs from Ocarina of Time and then play them back. For example, Zelda's Lullaby. And Song of Storms. Isn't it kind of weird how it cuts off the last note as it detects it? Kind of sloppy implementation there. Now, there's one thing that, about this that makes me a little sad. It will only detect the six non-warp songs from Ocarina of Time. Zell's Lullaby, Epona Song, Saria Song, Song of Time, Sun Song, and Song of Storms. That means if you want to play Bolero Fire, you gotta do it in free mode. Overall, I think it's a great toy for the price, and for me, its primary use is sitting on a shelf, so the included stand would honestly just sell the product for me right there. Uh, however, if you are looking to get a replica Ocarina of Time to learn to play, you best be saving up for a real instrument from someone plays like Songbird Ocarinas. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on those sometime here in the future. But uh, that's it for me. If you have any questions about the product, let me know in the comments. Also, if you want me to do more collector spotlights, let me know if you have any ideas or products in particular you want featured. Thanks as always for being awesome. I gotta go.